In this video, we look at how you convert between decimal and two digit hexadecimal and vice versa. If you haven't already watched our video on base number systems, go back and watch that first. So let's start by converting a decimal number to a two digit hex number. Now the best way to tackle this so you don't make mistakes is to take the conversion through a binary number first. You only have to convert to two digit hex numbers and as you've learned from a previous video, each hex digit represents four binary digits. So a two hex digit is eight binary digits. So you can see I've written out a eight column binary waiting line underneath my decimal number 12. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So the first thing to do is to write the number 12 out in binary. If you need a recap of how to do this, watch our other video which covers this. But effectively you can see I've got a 1 in the 8 column and a 1 in the 4 column. 8 plus 4 is 12. To convert this into a hex number, we now group the binary digits in groups of four, because four binary digits equals one hex digit. You'll notice I'm using a separate mini waiting line here that goes one, two, four, eight. I've got zeros in every column, so that represents zero in hex. If I take the right hand four binary bits or the nibble, Again, I've got one, two, four, eight. I've got a one in the eight column and a one in the four column. So that's a total of 12. Well, of course, in hex, 12 was represented by the character C. So the decimal digit 12 in hex is zero C or simply C. Let's take a different number now. Let's take 24. So again, the first thing you do is write it out in binary. So there's 24 in binary. It's a 16 plus an eight. I now group the left hand four bits of the binary digit and apply a mini waiting line of one, two, four, eight. I've got nothing in the eight column, nothing in the four, nothing in the two, and a single digit in the one column. So this left hand section represents one. The right hand section has a one in the eight column and then nothing in the four, two and one column. So this is an eight. So the decimal number 24 is one eight in hexadecimal. Be careful, that's one eight, not 18. So let's take a bigger number now, 230. The process is exactly the same. So pause the video for a moment and see if you can work this one through on your own. OK, so the first thing you should have done is written out that decimal number in binary. So here it is in binary, 230 in decimal in binary is 11100110. So I start with my left hand nibble or my left four bits. So I've got my mini binary waiting line of 1248. I've got a one in the eight column, a one in the four column and a one in the two column. Eight, four and two is 14. Of course, we don't use the number 14 in hex, we use the letter E. I take the right hand nibble and I've got a one in the four column and a one in the two, four, five, six. So the decimal number 230 in hex is E6. Okay, one final conversion then. Again, pause the video. You should have got this nailed by now and unpause to see if you've got it right. So there's 100 written out in binary. I start with my left hand nibble and I have a four and a two, so that's a six. I then go to my right hand nibble and I just have a single four. So in decimal, the number 100 is represented by six four in hex. Remember that's six four, not 64. So you might be asked to convert the other way you might be given a two digit hexadecimal value like A, B, and be told to write out the decimal equivalent. Well, again, simply take this through binary first. 
We'll take the left hand hex digit A. Well, you know that A represents 10. So let's write 10 into that mini binary line on the left there. That's 1, 8, 0, 4s, 1, 2, and 0, 1s. 8 plus 2. So that's 10. Now let's move to the right hand side. We know that B is 11. So that's an 8 and a 2 and a 1. So 1, 0, 1, 1. Now I've done those, I go back to my original binary waiting line across the top and just add together any columns that have a 1 in. So I've got 128 plus a 32 plus an 8 plus a 2 plus a 1. So the decimal equivalent of the hex value AB is 171. So let's try one more, but this time pause the video and work it out yourself and then unpause and see if you got it right. OK, so how did you do? The first thing you should have done was written out the number three on the left hand mini binary timeline. So that's a zero, zero, a two and a one. And then written out six on the right hand mini binary waiting line. That's zero, one, one, zero. We then return to our original binary waiting line that spans all eight columns and just add up any values that have a one in. So we have a 32 plus a 16 plus a 4 plus a 2. So 54 in decimal is the hexadecimal value 36. One last example to see if you've cracked it. Again, try pausing the video and working out the binary and decimal equivalent. So there's the binary for 7f. So on the left, we've got 7, 0, 1, 1, 1. And on the right, we have f which is 15, 1, 1, 1, 1. I now add together every column that has a 1 in it using the original binary weighting line that spans all eight columns. And we have 127.